Hello everybody, welcome back to another reaction on a fucking Saturday again, Blitz. Listen man, I've been saving this video especially for a special occasion. But yeah, I hope everybody's had joined their Saturday. Uh, for me, I'm doing actually really great because earlier um, I went to the bowling alley and yeah, it's just great to bowl and stuff. It's like one of those, you know, you know, one of those things that I actually get competitive with, but it's so fun at the same time. Not because of balls, how dare y'all. But anyways, today we have the part three of the Freddy's Find Out of the Truth. Because in part two, it's with the the Freddy variants working out, um, working together without the, you know, the OG Freddy Fazbear. But yeah, let's just see how part three goes. And let's do this. So first off, I don't know what this is called, but you're doing this. <laughs> Oh, if you didn't watch my video from last Saturday, yeah, that punish scene, but especially Mastermind's dogs, I did give them a good message. Ooh. Doggy. Anyways. Freddy does this. And Freddy doesn't do this. He does this. Oh, this is the part we've been waiting for. Let's go. <laughs> check, check. Uh, excuse me, um, Twisted Chica. Oh, hello. How may I help all five of you? Um, we're here to see, um... <laughs> the goat, Cloud Freddy. I love this guy. He's awesome. Anyways. System Error Bonnie, is he here? Well, actually, I'm afraid you are going to have to wait a while because he's on his lunch break. What's he eating? I'm sorry if I paused it, but what is he eating, Twisted Chica? By the way, that's a good Chica plushie, I will admit. I said this before about your collection of Funko Pops, plushies, and all that, but this is a really great collection. Bravo, bro. You, you deserve it. You are going to have to wait a while because he's on his lunch break. Actually, I'm here now. Oh, good to know. Well, five bears are here to see you, System Air Bonnie. That is a good Bonnie variant. His colors remind me of the Flash. That looks awesome, honestly. Again, bravo to your plushies. It looks really good. Alright, I'll talk with them. So, what brings all five of you here? How may I help y'all? Well, you see, um, Sister Mayor Bonnie, we, um, we want to apply for a job here because our pizzeria is being shut down and we were wondering if we could apply for a job here. If you're wondering why they're saying sister and all that, it's because when Mastermind's three-parter or like, I don't know how many parts will come out after this if I watch the end. Oh, of course I will. So basically, it's this is just like half a parody of the Three Stooges, basically. That's where he's taking the inspiration from. But yeah, I do like the references. Anyways, let's get back to the video. Well, um, I'm sorry, guys, but I'm afraid we was no more... There's no more tasks for anyone. We've already gotten enough employees now. Well, the reason why we need to apply for a job here, it's because we need you to give us the money. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> the reason why we need to apply for a job here, it's because we need you to give us the money to save our pizzeria. I'm sorry, but I can't do that. Because the money is for our our company. So I'm sorry. But I don't think I can give y'all a job here. Well, trust us. Trust us, Sister Mayor Bonnie. You can definitely trust us. We're not lazy like Freddy is. <laughs> also, just realizing that's just the name of the fucking Bonnie variant. I'm sorry. Again, it is an inspiration from the Three Stooges, the Three Stooges movie from 2012, so you can't really blame me there. Okay, otherwise, let's go. Oh, well that's understandable, but I wouldn't consider him lazy. Wait, are you sure he's not lazy? Isn't that why you guys sent him back to the pizzeria? Oh, 
I think I see what you're saying now. I know what you're saying. Again, and I'm right about this. Inspiration. Because in this scene, because in the Three Stooges movie, it was with Curly and... Uh, yeah, it was Curly talking about Mo and stuff like that. And Larry was also wondering about... Um, because the rich couple that wanted to adopt him, Mo at first, they wanted him. But Mo, you know, just wanted to, like, make sure that all of his birds what came along. But the rich couple can't really deal with all three of them. That's why they took Teddy instead. But yeah, years years later, the rich guy just confessed about that. So yeah, again, if they find out what Freddy's really doing, then, again, good inspiration, bro. Y'all are wondering why we sent him back to the pizzeria. Yeah, um, when didn't y'all send him back because he was lazy? Well, not really. So here's the truth why we sent Freddy back to the pizzeria when he was a kid, and y'all were kids too. Okay, so we didn't send Freddy back to the pizzeria because he was lazy. The reason why we sent him back to the pizzeria, it's because he wanted us to go back for all five of you. But his mom and I decided that it was too much for us. So that's why instead we decided to send him back so he can see you guys again. And we adopted Toy Bonnie instead. So yeah, he wanted us to come back for you guys, but it was too much for us. So that's why instead we decided to give him back to the pizzeria so he can see you guys again. <laughs> really? Yeah. He doesn't want to leave you guys. He cares about you guys a lot. Again, very similar. Mo really cares about Larry and Curly. And, yeah, what the Freddy's done, now finding out the truth. <laughs> Hint, the title, find out the truth. Yeah, I think this is really good for them. Like, yeah, just reconnecting if this happens in the video or the next one. We'll just see. Oh, how sweet of him. So, yeah, that's the truth. So again, we didn't send Freddy back to the pizzeria because he was lazy. We sent him back because he wanted us to go back for all five of you, but it was too much for us. So we chose to give him back to y'all, and we adopted Toy Bonnie instead. Oh, adopting Toy Bonnie? Yo, I would rather have the, the, the Freddy variants. No, but I, I'll admit, Bonnie, Chica, and Foxy, they're cool as well. But just imagine the multiverse of fucking the Freddy Fazbear's. That would be epic as hell. You know what? If they bring this up for the next chapter for the second movie of FNAF soon, that would be absolutely great. Oh, well then maybe we were, maybe we actually were harsh on Freddy. Yeah, what happened? Well, we were like... We were harsh on him and, like, we decided to leave him because we thought he was lazy. But since you told the truth, maybe maybe we actually were harsh on him. Oh, well, I hope you all reunite together. I'm sure we will. Yeah, and we'll make sure to apologize to Freddy. All right. Oh, and also, if y'all ever need to sue anyone, let me know. What the fuck? Yeah, um, I just gave you that whole fucking speech, and now, if you need me to sue anybody, just let me know. Nah, man, go fuck yourself. But I will say, the Freddies, just finding out the truth and everything, and just their wise words, yeah, it's really cool, and it's really heartwarming. I like it. Well, I guess that didn't work. Yeah, I guess we're gonna have to find another way to make money. Well, just so y'all know, um, while we were talking to Sister Mayor Bonnie, I saw a picture behind him. Before we find out what they found, um, hey, here's a suggestion. I'm not being as smart as anything. I might, I might be right now, but what if all five of you just go to a forest and just steal picnic baskets? I wonder where I'm getting that reference from. I'm smarter than the average bow, boo boo. <laughs> The Yogi, what about Ranger Smooth? Ah, fuck the Ranger. Who cares? gives a shit about him anyways? Okay. Anyways, let's go. Really? What was it a picture of? It was a picture of 
It was a picture of Toy Bonnie and Vanny having a wedding. What? Anyways. Wait, what? Say that again, I'm afraid. What? That guy had the same reaction. Good job. It was a picture. It was a picture of Vanny and Toy Bonnie having a wedding. Oh my god. See, another good reference. It's the fact that, yeah, Teddy and um, the, his, his fiance at the time, like, and now finding out the truth a little bit about, like, in the movie, his fiance cheated on him with his best friend. But there was so much plot twist to that as well. Once we get more more parts of, like, the Freddy franchise, especially for Mastermind Channel, but <laughs> enough of me talking. Let's go. Oh, my God. Does that mean... <gasps> Oh, I'm sorry. I thought we we're all gasping, but okay then. We need to reunite with Freddy. <laughs> yeah, we should. Yeah, we gotta tell all him what's going on. Come on, let's go. And that's the video. Wow. I hope there's a part four to this. I know there is. Mastermind, what you've do been doing recently with the Freddy like videos and everything else, I like it. Because you're doing your own kind of version of the Three Stooges movie, but you're bringing something else to that. It kind of reminds me of, okay, yeah, a little bit from Matt from Cartoon Network, where you're bringing two stories together, but making it to your own. I like that, Mastermind. Good brain. You, like, you have good writing. You know what, Mastermind? One day, I think you should be a good writer, too. You, you definitely put some thought into this. I like it. But yeah, otherwise, that was the reaction of the Freddy's Find Out the Truth and it, everything else. Oh, I can't wait for part four. Possibly next week or whenever Mastermind has time. I really won't rush him. But yeah, it, this has been really going good. And let's just see how the Freddy's are going to like go out and finding out what, what's with the real Freddy and what Vanny's been doing. But there's a lot of possibilities, man. Again, it's the multiverse of the Freddy's. But otherwise, this was a good reaction. I hope everybody enjoyed it as well. And Master, if you're watching this, great video as always. And yeah, hope you all have a great day, night, wherever you live. But yeah, see y'all next time.